Hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to Bounty Train. Bounty Train is a historical train simulator, uh, complete with bandits, trade, and uh, all things trains, really. Uh, so let's let's just hit a new game. Let's click, uh, skip the tutorial. Don't even care. Not it. I'm gonna go with hardcore mode because I can. Okay. Uh, what? Where are we? Okay, talk to Jeremy. Sorry about your father's death. How did he die? What do you leave me? Money. Okay, so this is just kind of a plot hook. Um, I guess I should probably read it out loud. So, I'm really sorry about your father's death. It was very unexpected. How did he die? I don't know too much, but it was a train accident. Killed this on the same railroad he worked so hard to construct. It's sad, really. What did he leave me? According to his will, you get this wonderful train, an 11% share of his company, and $435,000 in cash. Which, as far as I remember, for like the 1800s, is a fuck ton of cash. Like, that is that is more money than, like, most people would know what to do with. I don't even know. Anyway. Uh, huh. I see this wonderful train. Now well, let's talk business. After I get my money out, I want to sell my shares in this train before boarding the fi first ship back to Britain. Your shares and the cash are waiting for you in Portland. Your father's lawyer, Jeremiah Sullivan Black, will make sure you get everything. Also, he wants to talk with you about an issue. What about... Don't worry, Jeremiah will see, tell you everything. I see. Thanks for your tremendous help. I'm departing immediately. Farewell. Okay. So, now we're in Port Portland. Wait, do we have to be in Portland to... Wait, yeah. Father's lawyer in Portland. So we're here. Where Where is Portland? Where are we even located? Oh, we're, we're up in Portland. Okay. Uh, so let's go back to town. Oh, I was thinking Portland on the other side of the com company. Okay, so let's talk to Jeremiah. Hello, what can I do for you, young man? My name is Walter Reed, and I'm here to talk about my father's will. Nice to meet you, Walter. I have all the papers and money prepared, but there's more you should know. I'm all ears. As you know, your father had a 55% share in the National Pacific Railroad Company. It will build the first transcontinental railroad Connecting the east and west coasts. Yes, I'm aware of this. Go on. Your father's idea was a route that would be short and cheap. However, his partner, Cornelius Tilburnar, wanted a longer route. That, unlike the short route, must go through Indian territories and will allow him to receive significant government aid. Sounds terrible. Glad it's not my problem. According to your father's will, I'm switching to old man's voice. I'm losing the like British pomp. Well, accents are bad. Anyway, the money will be available only when the first transcontinental railroad is finished. He thought this would motivate his children to finish his life's work. How must? Uh, how long must I wait? I imagine the project will be finished in a month. Correct. Seeing as the construction is not even started, it will take several years, maybe a decade. The shorter route, however, can be completed much quicker. A decade? You must be joking. What can I do to change the plans? You and your siblings each have 11% shares. Together, you would have the majority vote, and thus, the power to change the railroad to the faster route. I get paid faster, so sounds good to me. Oh god, that's a lot. Here are your papers and some money to get you started. You need to finish everything before July 1st. 1862. This is when the shareholders meeting will take place in New York. Find your siblings, gather the majority of the votes, and change the railroad route. But beware of Cornelius Tilburgnar and other shareholders who may not like what you're planning to do. I know your brother Robert is working somewhere in Boston. Try to find him first. Don't worry, I'll make sure this is all settled proper pro properly. Thank you for everything, Mr. Black. Okay. So we've talked to him, we get some experience, and we get some money. Nice. Do we turn that in? I don't know. I guess... Oh, we just got the roller. Perfect. So we got to find Brother Robert, Sam, Pearl, and Michael. Not all of them are brothers. Okay, so let's take a look at things. First and foremost, take a look at the map. So I've played a little bit of this, but it was kind of weird and broken. So the first time you play this through, it might require a restart. Either way, first and foremost... Uh, oh, unlock road. This is it. Your journey begins, Walter. Safe travels, and make your father proud. Thank you. Okay, so we've got that open. Let's see about that one. That's a lot of money. 
Okay, so let's take a look at Boston. So Boston has meat, or food, tobacco, and coal. And we'll buy it for... Oh, we'll buy coal for four. So they want... Okay, what, what do we sell in here? We'll sell... I'm trying to figure out resources, because I feel like merchanting is kind of an important business here. So we've got fur, we've got tobacco, we've got coal. Coal might be a good good industry to work with here. Plus, we're going to need it along the way anyway. Let's see, what else do they buy high? The metals. Okay, so we're going to go back into Portland. We're going to buy all the metal, and we're going to buy all the coal. The fur and the food is more expensive here. Uh... Now, what is this? The buying price, the selling price. Oh. So the coal's not going to do me any good, but the iron definitely is. A little bit. So if I buy furs, I won't make any money. Yeah, okay. So so we're going to we're going to go buy all the metal and let's see if we can get another hand and see if somebody wants to go to Boston. So let's see. She wants to go to Buffalo. That's not useful. She wants to go uh oh, he's just a he's just a person. Do you need sweet grass? Don't know what sweet grass is gonna be. Frank. Uh, let's see. Hello, sir. My name is Walter Reed. I'm looking for my brother. He shares my surname and is a railroad engineer. Do you know him? Reed. Sounds familiar. Been spending most of my time in the saloon, though. So me my memory is a bit hazy. Perhaps a small favor would uh, from you would help me remember. Do you know what I mean? What do you have in mind? Uh, let's see. Hey, love letter Boston. Got it. All right. So, there's a woman in Boston who happens to adore me. I haven't seen her since moving here a few weeks back, and so I send her letters, but she never responds. I'll tell you where your brother is if you take this letter to her, but don't read it. Agreed. Uh, but only because I can search for my brother while I'm there. Be ready to tell me where I, what I want to know when I return, or else. Okay, so we've got a quest. Go to that. Oh, wait, no, this is a sweetgrass guy. So that was Frank. What about Sanford? wants a job. And Mia. She wants to go to New York. Paid 90 90 She wanted to go to Buffalo. Let's go take a look at this again. So, let's open the way to New York. We're going to need the space anyway. We're going to go back into Portland. We're going to pick Mia up. Because she wants to go to New York. And then we're going to pick up Jacob. I, don't, I do have enough money for Jacob. Uh, first, let's see what we've got in the market. I can always hire some people. How much of this, how much of this can I buy? 154. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to afford anything else, but that's okay. And coal is cheap here. Am I, I'm out of space. Okay, so we, we've bought all of the steel we can. That's all the money we can work with. Let's go back to the map. Hopefully I don't end up losing a lot of money from this. I don't think I will. So, to Boston. Uh, let's see. Need coal. That's a lot of coal. Oh, we'll buy some when we, when we get there. And Johnny. Hey, if you want to get through here, then you gotta give a little donation, you know what I mean? Get your own goods, outlaw scum. Attack, attitude minus seven. Okay, so here's a bit of a complication. Uh, hey, you can pause. We've got Walter. Walter actually has a fairly good shot from a bunch of things. So let's, let's pan around, let's see what direction they're coming from. I can't do that yet. There's only a limited amount of what, like, you can see along the way. Okay, and since we don't have a conductor, we pretty much required to um, be at the beck and call of things. Okay, but if he's there... Okay, okay you want to go back on the side? They're already shooting at me. Apparently? Oh, well. I'll take pot shots once we get close. I could have raised the... Raised the um... Yep, there they are. Uh-oh. Wait, is she... Oh, she, like, heals him or something. Well, our train currently won't go anywhere. Did we run out of coal or something? There we go. We ran out of coal, so we couldn't fight. Okay, let's pause. Let's send Mia back into this corner. Let's actually pan the camera around so we can actually see. We've got a little bit of fuel left. 
But that's all we need here. Let's not stand in the full car. And you start shooting. Why is the music stop? You start shooting. He can't start shooting yet. Because we need to be a lot closer. Okay, let's run you back before people start shooting. Yep. We've got a, uh... Oh, shoot. Mia's getting shot from back there. No reason why she should, uh... Get gunned down. Not in this situation. Okay. So we're just gonna wait for him to finish reloading and see, if, see who he can hit from there. Crap. Where can you hide? Nowhere good, that's for certain. This is a bad place to be, but I don't really have much of a choice. Maybe I should have actually hired the extra gunman instead of getting greedy. I don't even know. God, it takes forever to reload. Tooty tooty gun and shooty, can you use your gun ability? Oh, she's she's dead. Well. Okay, time to re time to leave. Okay, so my civilian already got Murdinated. This is a lot of bandits, admittedly. A oh, what? You stopped reloading. Oh, this is bad. Can I talk to her? Nope, can't talk to her. Oh, that surprises me in no way, shape, or form. Unfortunately, we've already gotten our, um... We've already gotten our, our charge. Okay, are you just sitting there? He's still reloading. Wow. I don't even know. The whole reloading mechanic is going to drive me bit nutters. I think we're just going to lose this one. We're out. We're outgunned, really hard. So I guess opening, yeah, opening up the license to uh, Boston was a bad idea. <sighs> okay, well this is this is only going to go poorly for me. He just leveled up, but yeah, he's about to die. Game over. Walter has been killed in action. The only man who could have changed the railroad course is now dead. And soon thousands of Native Americans will join him. Your siblings attend your funeral with great sorrow, wishing that you had never returned from Europe. Whoops. Alright, so, uh, let's go back to Portland. I've I've kind of caught up to where we are, so this time we have Walter, we have Oliver. We don't have a passenger because nobody wants to go to Boston. Let's uh, let's do this right this time around. I also turn off, turn off hardcore mode because it looks like you just have to redo the same thing over and over and over again. Uh, which is kind of boring. Once this game has more randomization, or maybe just next time around, I'll turn off hardcore mode, but for now, yeah, yeah, I'll pass. So, uh, to Boston. Let's hope we don't get totally dunked again. We're totally gonna get dunked again. It's life. So, unfortunately, pressing 1 does not actually activate the dialogue options. Kind of slows this entire game down a little bit, but really, you don't spend too much time dialoguing. Okay, nice thing is we also have two guys, uh, handling the... Handling um, the train. Oh, here we go. Can you shoot? You can. Okay. So now I've got two dudes. Unfortunately, I don't know if I can select them both at the same time. Walter. Walter, what are you doing? Walter, you are mildly useless. Oh, hello. They will board the train. I've never seen that before. Okay. Well, we've got this man just kind of hanging out. We've also got some people back inside. Oh, I see. If you let them run wild too much, they will, um... If you let your enemies run wild too much, they will, um... Board your train and then just take your cars. That's an interesting problem. Oh, that's just gonna... That's maybe not gonna blow up immediately. Let's just leave. For a second, I think I can only assume that's dynamite. Okay. Either that or it's a... F oh, it's a fire. Let's put that out before things get bad. I don't even know. We're getting a lot of people aboard our train. Okay, so we don't have to worry about the fire. We do have to worry about these guys, though. Walter, what what the hell are you doing? This is just an out-and-out out stabbing, out out stabbing fight. Let's back up a bit. What the... Okay, that feels wrong. Walter's in trouble. Oh, wait. One guy died. Okay, let's just gang up here. 
There we go. Okay, perfect. Yeah, so this is very ftl -y in a way. Uh, to be fair, it's also a bit rough. But... I mean, roguelikes always are. I do, do wish there were, like, alternate difficulties or something like that. We're still getting attacked, by the way. Can I... Can I increase the speed of the train? We have no... Cur we currently have no fuel. And we're still getting attacked. Son of a bitch. We're going... We're going to lose Oliver here. Unless I'm really lucky. How many people are left? Our car... Our train's on fire. What is this game? Was I like... Okay, let's go back to the town. So this, is, this time around, I'm going to try something different. Uh, we've already loaded up the train. I'm glad it took off hardcore mode, because apparently losing is comically easy to do. The first time I ever did combat, it was against like three guys. So it, was, it was easy enough. Okay, so let's boost up that speed. Because if we're going to be fighting the same outlaws again, I'd prefer to uh, make it hard for them. So let's, let's boost up that speed. Yep, same guys again. Why does it pause the music when the game pauses, though? I don't understand. Okay. Unfortunately, these guys are effectively strafing me. What if I had, had them both? What if I had them both shoveling? Can I go... Can, can I go faster? Screw you guys! Screw you guys, this train, this train has no brakes. Well, actually, this train has complete brakes. Keep shoveling. Keep shoveling. Well, we've got a man, we've got men boarding the train. Oh, crap. Oliver. Bad timing. I don't know how much fuel we have left. That's it, if you can just distract him for a bit. Okay, let's get you back to the conductors. Oh, shoot, he goes back. Come on. Because we really do need... Okay. Let's focus fire this one. This is 100% nightmare. How even? Oh. Okay, let's go back to town. Okay, so this time around we're going to try and cheat. Looking for the brother. What do you have in mind? Oh, I didn't do this quest. Whoops. Okay, let's talk to Hilda. Let's get her on board. Let's take her. No free passenger seat. That's okay, because now we have enough money to hire Jacob Moon. Okay. Hilda Porter's probably going to die, but at least we got three people now. Okay. Exit location. Let's try this again. Not going to lie, I'm starting to get a little bit frustrated. With this game. Okay, so first and foremost, we're gonna put... Wait. Actually. I just realized, I can have Hulda as a conductor. Walter, 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 just go back. These two can both shovel. Both shovel. Okay. Both shovel. We need to go faster, guys. Okay, there we go. So yeah, if we have a if we have a full train, maybe we'll be okay. There we go. Picking up speed. We're actually killing some people. Okay. Let's have him put put out the fires. Speed's looking pretty close to max. But this time around we have two two guys guarding. Which is all we need. Weirdly enough oh wait, no, yeah, this is working. Turns out Jacob is a, a combat master, or something, I don't know. Anyway, let's see if I can have these two take this guy out. I think he's currently taking shots at, there we go. Taking shots at our, uh, our conductors and stuff. That's okay, we're, do we're doing damage. It's just rough. I kind of wish you could almost have them auto-guard or something. 
because currently it's uh it's only working marginally well. Let's hit the steam. Okay, one, three. This guy's getting close. He's probably gonna. Oh wait, this is gonna force him to the back, so we can actually take some good pot shots here. Unfortunately, they're all reloading. Sucks a bit, but then again, not a big deal. Okay. I don't know how long we have until we get the boost, but that's fine. As long as they don't block the train, really, I think we're good. Oh, I'm glad I brought Hulda on. I think she can also heal. I could be wrong on that one, but I, I think she actually does have the ability to do, like, healing moves and stuff. Okay, we don't have the boost for a bit. Oh, that guy boarded the train again. That's not a problem, though. And I don't, I don't see a blockade, so we might actually be able to make it out of here. Yes, there's a lever you can pull just to, um... Uh, just to... Yeah, she can heal. That's good to know. Oliver... Okay, Oliver's working on that. Oh, interesting. Pull the... she not heal? Does she have, like, a limitation on that? I don't even know. Okay. Well, in that case, Hulda, seeing as you can't heal anymore, at least a little while. Uh-oh. What is that? I don't even know what that is. Oh, shit. There's a fire. Oh, there's a lot of fire. Nope. That's not gonna work. Oh, stop shooting. We need that fire out. Speed boost. Okay. Well... So far, still problems, but we got it. 50 experience and some money. Let's go on. Okay, that was surprisingly hard. Let's see, you reach Boston. Do you want to visit it? Yes. Yes, I would. Okay, so first and foremost, Walter's leveled up. That's good. Perk. Uh, willpower, experience, critical shot chance. Uh, can I see what is what willpower does? Nope. Experience plus 20, 25%, I think. I don't know. Okay, ability gunfight, reload time. What does willpower do? Will. Morale and damage resistance. Okay, that might not have been a bad idea. That's it. Uh, marry, and then return to Frank. Sir, please do not stare at me that way. My fiancé is a skilled gunman who has taught me... taught plenty of men in the city a lesson for disrespecting me. Wait, settle down, miss... Met your fiancé in Portland, or forget about your fiancé and come with me. I'll show you the entire country on my train. No, let's do a uh, settle down, miss. I met your fiancé in Portland, and I'm here to deliver his letter to you. Portland? He lives here in this city. Wait, the man who wrote this letter wouldn't be happen to be Frank, would it? Yeah, he's the older-looking man with the graying beard. That filthy man has no shame. I had him arrested in Boston after I noticed him fo following me. Ever since, he's been asking people on their way here from Portland to deliver me these pathetic letters. Why would I... Why would you help him? Frank said he'd offer me information if I delivered the letter to you. You wouldn't happen to know of a Robert Reed, would you? He's a railroad engineer. I didn't meet Robert Reed, but recently there were many engineers here working on a project. One of them was trying to convince me to go with him to New York. I think that's where most of them went. Appreciate the information, ma'am. Okay, so she's kind of the quest. So first and foremost, let's take Oliver. He can't use his ability. Dang. Okay. Because this, this uh, train car is looking a little bit... Worse for their wear. Okay, so first and foremost, let's see what I can sell. Uh, let's sell all of it for 144. Um, hmm. So ideally, I'd like to get to Buffalo, but that might be a little bit pricey. I got 317. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to spend most of my money. Let's go back to the station. Probably going to have to spend a lot of my money healing people. So these guys get got kind of shot. Okay, we still made a profit. Let's see, wants to get to Pittsburgh. He's expensive. He's pretty cheap. I don't even know how many... Oh, we're, we're maxed on people, it looks like. Work. What finding your brother? And Reuben. What does Reuben... What does Reuben want? Okay, what about the city hall? Anything you can do for the town? Washington, 16 days money. It's tempting, but I don't think I can get to Washington. Unfortunately, unlocking things. So if we're trying to get to what? Buffalo? How much would it cost to unlock this? 250. I don't have the money. 
Okay. Let's take a look at Boston. So we can... Meat sells for cheap. Okay, we can make a de Ooh, we can make a huge profit on meat. So let's do that. Then we can refuel on coal when we get back to Pittsburgh. And hopefully we'll have enough money by the time we're done to um, get out of this place. Okay, they also sell furs for cheap. We can make a very small profit on furs. Okay, so meat, meat and... Actually, that's not furs. What is that? Tobacco. Okay. Back to Boston. To the market. So we want... Is this is this the food? Food, okay. I call it meat, it's just food. Okay, we'll buy the tobacco. Oh, these, these are on my end. Okay, I was wondering about that. Okay, so let's... Wait. This is the stuff I have, right? On board? I hope so. Well, either that or that stock that I own. Well, to Portland. Hey, there aren't bandits this time around. Okay, do I want to visit it? Yes. Hopefully we can sit, make some money from this. To the market. Unfortunately, it looks like a lot of the resources have... disappeared. Where's the, where's the tobacco? Oh. That's problematic. Okay, we're back on fuel. We've made a little bit. Let's buy all of the iron we can. Yeah, so this is apparently mine? Let's go to Boston. Oh, we're going to be paying arms and legs and fuel. Okay, to the market. So this stuff is... Oh, that's still mine. Okay, that makes sense. Well, let's sell that. I see. I bought too much. I've got a passenger car. I don't really have much I can do about this. And we're still going to be spending so much money and fuel, it's going to be a problem. I didn't realize we get locked down so much in here. Actually, if I do that in coal, we've got a little bit. It gives me a little bit more room for food. Okay. So this might not be as worthwhile as I thought. And we got more bandits, of course. Hey, Might have to come back to this game in a week or two once they've... ...boosted things a little bit here. Actually, let's have her do her healing in a bit. I hear shooting. Wait, what are, what are you doing? Hold it, get, get back, get back to the car. There we go. Here's what we're looking for. Okay. Well, this is what we've got. So, Oliver, you get over here. Hulda. Hope for the best. It's gonna take a little while before we can take anybody out. Uh, it's... Okay, they're focus firing the same guy. Supposedly. As long as we don't lose Hulda here, we'll be okay. In retrospect, don't use their abilities while they're reloading. It's kind of a waste. Then again, did do a lot of damage. What does this one even do? It doesn't tell me. Oh, that reminds me. Oliver. He's supposed to be able to repair cars? He just kind of used his ability and then didn't do anything. That's concerning. Walter, what are you doing? Okay, so I have nothing but just abject confusion as far in relation to this game. It's not really the end of the world, but it's just like... Okay, she's healing him up. Let's see if she can go heal him up over here. How much of a heal is that? An amount, actually. A surprisingly fair amount. Jacob, who are you shooting at? You should shoot at that guy. Why was this easier when uh, the train wasn't stopped? Oh, hey. Jacob leveled up. Perk. Turret skill, critical chance, morale. More experience by 1%. Critical shot chance. And Oliver... Oh! He's a mechanic and a cannoneer. Survive, morale, revolver. Let's go with survive. I don't know what survivor 
gives him as well, but it gives us multiple things to get points into. Okay, you keep healing people. Because you're going to save me money. Oh, he's, he's fixing the car. Perfect. That's what we needed. And how much of it? Yeah, it makes, makes a fair difference here. And she's healing herself, too. How often can you do that? Constantly? She can heal constantly. Wow. That's pretty goddamn useful. Which one of you guys is the one with the dynamite? You're the one with the dynamite. Let's focus on the guy with the dynamite, then. He is the concerning one, anyway. Okay. Let's do cannon skill for a second. Actually, you know what? You're healing the wrong man. Hold up. Keep healing Jacob. Or start healing Jacob, seeing as. Jacob, can you not hit? I guess not. It works, but Dynamite Man is, uh... Going a bit haywire. Crap. That's fine. We've almost got... We've almost got that car... Fixed up. Walter's about. We're, Walter's gaining some exper experience. Perk. Uh, morale stands. Revolver. Experience gain. Unfortunately, leveling in this game feels kind of meaningless. It's just minor boosts here and there. But you need to go back to healing Jacob. Okay, let's. What are you, what are you doing? No, 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 no. You go back to Jacob. You go over here. Let's see if we can fix up this this car as well. There we go. The primitive driver needs uh, somebody to move forward. Let's actually not for a second. Let's actually wait for quite a while. Uh, unfortunately, or fortunately for me, I've got a healer on board. I might as well use her. Because we're actually going to make a fair amount of money from uh, banditry here. <sighs> I think. And if we have next to no penalties, better for us, correct? Okay, so he fixed that one car. Why is he not fixing this one? No, don't do that. I'm confused. But yeah, no, ha having a passenger medic on board is going to be amazingly useful. Just gotta, just gotta wait until she slowly heals everybody up. Why can't they do this on their own when they're traveling? Why Why do we have to only do this in combat? The, the fact that I have to spend very valuable resources, considering the fleet fuel costs in this game, um, specifically on, like, healing, is rough. So, I'm I, at this point, I'm going to... I'm pretty close to calling it for the uh, impressions video. I'm going to keep playing, um, just because it does, it does seem like quite the interesting game along the way. Are you going to... Are you going to repair... Nope, she, he's just gonna stand there. I don't understand what his active ability does. Like, if, if there was a repair key, it would be perfect. But as far as I can tell, there is, like, no functional... ...anythings. Like, no, no hotkeys. Which I could kind of use. Okay, well, let's throw, let's throw Hulda on the, uh, on the coal, too. This feels dirty to me. Not gonna lie. The way I do things. No. Not the end of the world. Oh, we were very close to the exit, too. Didn't even realize. Perfect! So we got some... We got some booze, we lost some... Alright, whatever, go on. We also got some cash. That's exactly what we needed. Uh, Portland, yes! Okay, so now that uh, we're still gonna have to pay for a lot of uh, a lot of fuel here, but I can sell my food. I can sell alcohol, but where does alcohol sell for more? Yep, down in Boston. Okay, Portland has some alcohol. Anyway, uh, we can't pick anybody else up. We don't need to. So let's pick up. Let's pick up our steel. Let's consider. I don't think I'm going to be able to make that much money from that, whereas I can buy 
quite a lot of this. Okay, I think we'll actually be able to make enough cash. Shit, I bought all of it again, like a dingus. <sighs> I dragged it out of my car. I really wish I'd only buy what I have, like what I can actually functionally carry. Oh well, not the end of the world. So, oh, we should return to Frank. She's not, uh, you take that letter to the, my woman in Boston or what? She's not your woman. I suggest you stop bothering her. Not my woman. Get out of my face before I knock your teeth out. Crazy fool. All right. Anything I can do in the town? Pittsburgh. No. Okay, let's close that one. We don't need it. Saloon doesn't do me any good. And we can buy some equipment, but we don't need to. Okay. So why don't we... I still don't know how to fix cars. Like, this one guy did kind of automatically for a bit, but that was it. So Robert in New York... To Boston. I need coal. Hey, you can buy coal though, from right here. That's that's actually quite handy. So hopefully I'll have enough money by the time I, I sell all that iron that we can open up the pass to, to Boston. Okay, so first and foremost, let's, oh, it, it, hey, that's cool. Okay, let's sell all of that. Do we have enough? We do. Let's sell the alcohol while we're at it. Okay. <sighs> this game, kind of hard. I dig it though. It's actually, it's actually got some neat features. Uh, the the starting is definitely kind of awkward. The back and forth, the um, the just overall like kind of weird foibles. But then again, this game is in early access, so I'm not terribly surprised about that. Actually, let's take the tobacco with us first. I think that has a higher profit margin. Okay, I'm gonna go back to Portland. Might as well make a little bit of extra cash, especially while we don't have um, bandits along the way. Um, but, you know, overall, I'm actually pretty impressed with how this game functions. It's very it's very smooth. No crashes, obviously. No major bugs. And that's actually pretty encouraging. Uh, there are obvious limitations. And there are obviously, like, weird bits here and there. Okay, so we can only take four. Let's only buy four this time. Okay, there we go. We've got... And we need some coal. How much coal do we need? Nine tons. Okay, there we go. And we're left with a little bit more. Whatever, not that big of a deal. But, you know, the, the trading, the, the banditry, whatever, it evokes a very FTL three-state secession. Oh, right. That's concerning. Oh, well, not the end of the world. But, you know, the historical aspects to it, just the in-general functionality of this game, I... Uh, Creates a very good ambiance and just is kind of an interesting, interesting thing to play. So first and foremost, we need to buy as much coal as we can, and let's take a look at what New York could use. Uh, they'll buy food. They'll buy. Looks like New York is more of a starter place that we can bring resources out of. So they sell steel pretty cheap. Yeah. So trade-wise, we can make a lot of bank from New York, but. Generally, we're not going to be able to make much from it. That said, I think we can take food with. So let's let's load the train up with food. And let's go out to the main map. So at this point, I think I've seen enough of the game. I've only seen two cities, which is hilarious. That said, I mean, look at this. Holy crap. It looks like we can't make it out west probably until later on in the game. But we can, we can make it up to the Mississippi w River at the very least. Which is kind of ridiculous. Hey, can I see my hometown from here? Nope, can't. All right, not that big of a deal. So, wow, look at all this stuff. Look at all the places you can go. I'll admit, I'm impressed. I was not expecting them to have nearly this much of America laid out as a game, but I guess it really, it's only what, like 30 towns? That's not so bad. FTL had a butt ton. But you know, these are pre-generated places and everything is just nicely modeled. The entire countryside is quite beautiful. Uh, overall, I, I mean, despite myself, despite my reservations about the combat being maybe a bit imbalanced and a little bit hard and clunky, it's not bad. And, I mean, remember, this game is early access. Chances are it's going to be uh, fixed up and improved and all sorts of things. So, you know, my base concerns will probably get assuaged as the game gets, you know, patched and improved and stuff like that. And honestly, no bugs, no, no crashes, just a very, very brutal start of getting shot a lot. Well, either way, it's not so bad. Um, but so, if you're interested in picking up the game, the game uh, the game is called Bounty Train, obviously. But uh, Bounty Train is 20 bucks. 
or I think you can get the, like, oh yeah, it's 25 bucks, but for release, which ends in a week, it's uh, it's down to 20, so it's 20% uh, off, so I guess if you want to pick it up, now's probably the best time for quite a while. Um, but they also have, like, a, a special edition version that comes with the first DLC and some, like, extra in-game items and stuff like that, too, which I'm not really sure if it's worth it. Honestly, I'm not even sure if the $20 price tag is worth it. I would say, personally, wait until either the price drops or the game goes into 1.0, but if you're really looking to get into uh, another FTL-like game, Bounty Train is not a bad deal. Uh, it's, it's got a lot more of the, like, money-making style, and yes, there is a time limit. Yes, it does seem like there's kind of going to be some sort of last boss type encounter, but it could be wrong about that one. Um, but overall, it, it just seems kind of like an interesting enter and entertaining um, concept for a game. It's it's pretty slick. It's pretty it's it's pretty pretty, and it fits the it fits the time period perfectly, which is impressive impressive in and of itself. And I haven't even seen any of the historical events. I'm sure we're going to run into quite a number of those as we progress with the game, seeing as uh, there are some Confederate flags flying down near Florida. So anyway. I personally like the game. I'm going to continue with the series, uh, so I guess if you guys want to see more, stick around. Uh, next episode, I guess, will be out tomorrow. But, uh, you know, if you're watching me for the first time, if you want to see more Bounty Train, hit subscribe because I'm going to be doing a lot more of these. Or if you just want to see more Indie Impressions videos, I do those too. And uh, I guess if you want to see more Bounty Train and just like the video, also leave a like. It really does help a lot and it lets me know that you guys want to see more as well. So, with that, I guess I will see you guys on the next episode of Bounty Train. And as always, thanks for watching.